Hey, so today I'm gonna show you how to change the spring core uh, on the x ridge uh, You cannot do it in this lock position. You need to unlock the uh, x ridge from this lock first before changing the spring cores. So never start undoing uh, the spring core lock down here while the bone is in tension. Uh, easiest is actually wearing um, the x reach and the vest on your on yourself and having assistant taking down the arm and releasing the lock um, or you can do it on the table like this I prefer uh, wearing it and having some help but if you're by yourself you can easily do it take off the vest bring it on a table firm grip watch out so you have a clearance from your finger so because this is pretty strong so you don't like hit your fingers so I press down I release it with my thumb like this so there's no fingers in the way I let go bringing the arm up if you have a strong spring core let's say orange or purple one I prefer to unwind uh, the tension of the spring core uh, quite a bit otherwise there's it's so strong it's uh, you might struggle uh, releasing the X-reach. So uh, if you have a stronger spring core, release some tension, makes it easier. If you're wearing it, it's easy. If you have some help, then you don't have to release the tension. Anyhow, take out um, the ring spanner you got in your kit. You have the lock for the spring core underneath here. Uh, so I take my wrench, I start undoing the M6 on this side. Once you feel the tension is removed, you can do the rest by hand. Just take out the nut with your fingers, like so. So, the spring bracket on this side is undone. You gently release it a little bit. You take it from this side and you take out the, the spring bracket on this side. You just slide it out. Then you take out the spring core. You take whatever uh, new spring you want and pop it back in. So that's all you have to do really. Take the spring core, you insert it like so. On the x ridge there's two lips on each side, there and there. When using the, the spring core bracket, uh, we want the bearings to be on the outside of these lips. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, the bearing bracket also have a groove side and a flat side. We want it to be on the groove side pointing outwards in this direction keeping the spring core centered if you flip it you have nothing gripping it in the center and the spring core uh, might slide side to side and actually like uh, misalign and do weird stuff so never position the spring core bracket in this side always have the groove side pointing outwards so I just align it with the text upwards, slide this one in, like so, take the lock, bring up the arm, and I insert the M6 into the spring core, and I start inserting the M6, applying some pressure to, to some tension on the bone, so it's holding itself together like so, so now I have some tension. I'll check this side first, making sure the bearings are on the outside of the lip. I'll check that this one is aligned in center, all looks good on this side. I'll bring it over, make sure, same thing here, the bearings are on the outmost position outside the lips. Everything looks alright, I'm good to go. So now I use my wrench, sorry, wrong side, and I start to bring it in all the way. We have a small nut uh, attached to this uh, M6 screw. 
This nut will sooner or later collide with the spring core, bringing friction, so it's gonna be locked. And once it's locked, it's gonna start twisting the spring core a little bit. So once this happens, I'm gonna show you what to do next. I'll lock it all the way. Now you see the spring core start twisting, following my wrench. I don't want them to be in full contact, so I flip my wrench, I hold a finger on the spring core and I just release it by 5-10 degrees, so it's not like immediately contact, so it's just have some freedom here. That's all there is to it. Now I'll let go. I'll either take it on myself, uh, the vest on myself, and have assistant bring in the X-Reach down, or I do it on the table. I take firm grip, and make sure nothing slides. Just use my thumb, bring the lock over, so you don't like squeeze any fingers. And that's it. Now you swap the spring core and everything is good to go. Thanks.